what's going on guys and gals? We got Squishy Frog here. Now we're, for once we're not doing a brew review. We're doing something different tonight. Yeah, we're gonna change things up a little bit. Broaden our horizon. This is GMC's idea here, so uh... Yes, um... So, what pisses you off tonight? What pisses me off tonight? Well, how much uh, memory does that thing have? Well, there's probably <laughs> at least a half hour left on it. Uh, I might but know. if the uh, battery goes dead, well, no, this I can is change something it. I noticed uh, when we were taking a, a sojourn through Walmart. Uh, we yeah, were, we had nothing better to do in Carlisle. <laughs> we were walking past or the exit, and there's a big Gaylord of cereal, like the little one bowl jobbers for a dollar. One dollar. One dollar. And I just thought of something that kind of, it doesn't annoy me, it just really makes me think. Let's say you would go out with your family, and you would go to a diner for breakfast or something like that. And, yeah, yeah, I hear you. you know, it, yeah, when you go to a diner, you're looking for like some real shit. Yeah, it's like your mother, your father, let's say you have like a brother. Eggs and bacon, yeah, like you have sausage, brother, scrapple. You have a brother, brother and a sister and everything. And so, you sit down, and your mother orders French toast, and your dad's like, eggs, bacon, you're like the same thing. And there you go, this little kid, your little sister, says, I want cereal. And you look at him like, what? <laughs> Who the hell orders cereal at a diner for breakfast? If you want cereal, you stay at home. Okay? That makes no sense to me. And don't give me this, oh, well, maybe they just don't like eggs. Well, if they don't like eggs, don't take them to a diner. Okay? You, you keep them home. You make breakfast at home so they can have their cereal. <laughs> you want Apple Jacks, you stay at home, eat Apple Jacks. <laughs> I'm GMC, and that's what pisses me off. Nice. So what pisses you off, dog? Hmm. Auto companies. Auto companies. You know what? Suppose, you know, your car key breaks off of your ignition, and you're like, son of a bitch. Uh-huh. i got to replace the key. Got to replace the ignition. Well, in my 20-year-old cars, no big deal. 16 bucks for the ignition, $3 for the key, no and doubt. I'm set. No doubt. You buy a new car today with, like, the built-in remote and has, like, the key that comes out like a pocket knife, like, <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> if that son of a bitch breaks off in your ignition... 300 bucks through the dealer. The hell? Ripping you with your pants on. They want that. Son of a bitch. And, well, that's my first rant. First rant. So, what else pisses you off today? You know what pisses me off? God damn it. I'm not following you. <laughs> this. This is toilet paper. We've all used it before. I hope we have, anyway. <laughs> or you can use your hand. Or you can use your hand, if you are so inclined. But this is what in a, desperate, in a very desperate situation, I would. This is what pisses me off. Under. Over. This is a debate that has raged on since the Republicans and the Democrats. Which way does the toilet paper go? Up or down? In my personal opinion, it doesn't matter! You wipe your ass with it! You wipe your ass with it! Oh, well, you can pull it down. That way it doesn't tear. It still tears. Look, look, see, look, see, it tears. It teared right there as I was pulling down on it. Okay? <laughs> it doesn't matter, okay? It's toilet paper. You wipe your ass with it. You wipe your nose with it. It doesn't matter how it goes. Eh, God damn it. <laughs> and that is what pisses me off. Well, the way I see it, doesn't matter how it goes on. Your shit won't stink any differently. No, no. See, th this is not like self-cleaning paper, although the world is in desperate need of such a thing. But no, this is not self-cleaning paper. It just does not matter to me. <laughs> how about you? Hmm, Anything I gotta think. To you off? I, I don't know. Then I'll keep going. You know what pisses me off? Celebrities. Oh, here we go. Not just the fact that I despise anyone that calls himself a celebrity, 
because we are oh so better than you because we make money and basically they don't even make their own damn money. Their fathers make it for them and they just spend it. But recently, Miss Kim Kardashian had a child. And I'm sure we've all heard this by now. They have named their child North West. What the hell, really? Kanye West and Kim Kardashian have named their child Northwest. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. I had to calm myself because. Yeah, your heart condition. Kim, Kanye, you probably won't watch this video. I would hope that somebody that watches this would send it to you. Because I just, I just gotta ask. It's a kooky little question I have here. Do you hate your child so much that you would name her North West? Do you despise your child so much has she been such a burden to you for the past eight months that you would name her North West? Hell, why don't you just name her South of Dixie? <laughs> or why don't you just name her Uranus? Or why don't you just name her Butthole McCracken? Who, who names her child that? I, ser <laughs> seriously. <laughs> The child is going to be mentally <coughs> scarred if she's not just completely stupid by now. Because with her parents, she has the IQ of a wet carrot, I'm sure. <coughs> Celebrities, why do you name your children these stupid things? It's not funny. You're going to be paying millions in therapy bills. It's funny to us. <laughs> it's not funny to me. I it's think not it funny is. at all. I feel sorry for that child. I don't... I, it's not funny for the child, but I think it's funny for the fact that they were dumb enough to do this. That child is going to suffer for the rest of her life. Think of the children! <laughs> and it's not just the fact that it's Kanye West and Kim Kardashian naming her Northwest. It's the fact that her parents are Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. That is why I feel sorry for that child. They are the stupidest people I have ever seen in my life. Aside from Paris Hilton? Paris Hilton, I've said my piece about her once before. It, it's like it's like these celebrities are fighting to see who can out-stupefy the other one. You have <laughs> Justin Bieber driving around like a maniac in a gated community, acting like a fucktard. And then you have <laughs> Kim Kardashian and Kanye West naming their child Northwest. I don't understand it. I don't... I, I don't even know why I get pissed off about it. Mainly because this is society. Society has become stupid. I am fully aware that... Duck Dynasty is the number one show on TV right now. What the hell is Duck Dynasty? <laughs> People don't even know who the first lady of the... President of the United States, but they know who Honey Boo Boo is. Who the hell's Honey Boo Boo? <laughs> what has she done? Well. This is what this is what I go through when And I'm sober right now. I'm completely sober right now, just to let you know. I am too, by the way. We are totally sober. This is not just some you know, random drunken let's just bitch about stuff, man. No, this is stuff I have been thinking about forever. 
I got a rant. You got Here, a rant. All me. right. I've been ranting for what the past six, seven minutes. So yeah, about the celebrities. By Since all means. we kind of started this video off about Walmart, let's rant about that. Walmart. Yes. Have you ever came in there, like say ten o'clock at night? Oh yeah. Big crowd. Only time I go. You got a shitload of stuff in your cart and you're ready to pay for it. Hell yeah. But they only have one freaking lane open. One lane. Yeah. 30 lanes, one light. What the hell? It, it takes you longer just to wait in line than it does to get your shit. Yeah. Normally when I go to Walmart, I like to get my shit and get out. Get, you get in, you get out, hopefully with all your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's Walmart, so obviously you have all your stuff. True. And I, I'm totally there. Totally there. You, with you get brother. what I'm saying? Totally there with you, brother. Oh, and the people in the parking lot. <sighs> Don't get me started. Mm -hmm. oh, people yeah. that drive the wrong direction. They, they go right through the parking lot. Or better yet, they go the opposite direction of the arrow. Mm -hmm. But of course, <laughs> I'm the asshole that goes the right way and will give them as little, little room as possible. Yeah. That, that, that. <laughs> But maybe I'm adding fuel to the fire there. No, no. It's, it's totally cool. It totally but, I mean, that's my rant about Walmart. Absolutely. And Oh, and you have, kind of have a rant about sheets. Mm. About lottery tickets. <laughs> this is good. Very good, actually. Um, I was at Sheets. I'd say two, three months ago. And I don't I'm not against people playing the lottery. You want to play the lottery? That's cool. What I am against, however, is when I have just worked a 10-hour day. And I'm very tired. And I'm extremely hungry. So I get in line. I order my food. Grab a drink. I stand in line. And this is a true story, mind you. I was the next person in line to get up to the register. They only had one register working at the time. Just like Walmart. Just like Walmart. It wasn't busy, though. This couple was in front of me. They had an armful of things. The man bought a lottery ticket. He actually was cashing in a lottery ticket. He cashed it in, got his money, and immediately proceeded to buy another lottery ticket. And as his wife was paying for their food and whatever, he was down there scratching away. Scratching away. Scratching away. Looks at the ticket. Hands it back to the person running the cash register. Cashed it in. And what did he do? Did he pocket the money, perhaps? You know, to save it for another day? No. No, he didn't. <laughs> he decided to, since he was there, to just simply... Bye. Another lottery ticket! <laughs> Here I am! I'm behind him! I know he sees me! I literally give the cashier one of these. Like, <laughs> thankfully, she said, Sir, you're going to need to move out of line if you're going to scratch at. And, of course, the guy turns around, looks at me, like, I'm the asshole. And says, oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't see you back there. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't know you were a douchebag. <laughs> He's going to have a heart attack just off this rant. And speaking of Walmart. <laughs> back to Walmart. You, you know what, really, this is, like, everywhere. You know what, really me off. <laughs> I somehow become the magnet for people who want to use exact change. Oh, yes. I have nothing against wanting to use exact change because we all have it. Pennies need to become obsolete by tomorrow because I'm so sick of pennies. Yeah, pennies are assholes. Yeah, but... I seem to be the one person that gets behind the 60, 70, 80 year old people that decide, I'm going to use exact change today. 
Here, let's see what's in the bottom of my wallet. I think I have some pennies here. Let me see here. Hold on. Let's see if I can pay for this box of prunes. Yes. So, I'm standing in line at Walmart. The woman is buying Depends, Milk of Magnesia, uh, Denture Cream, uh, Polygrip, yeah. Polygrip, Depositories, whatever the old people buy. And her bill comes up to $27 and let's say 7 no, not 70 It is like 63 cents. And she pulls out two twenties, a forty. I said it was twenty-seven. It's thirty-seven. It was thirty-seven dollars. I remember this. <coughs> thirty-seven dollars, sixty-three cents. We'll go with that. She pulls out two twenties, forty. You would think she would simply hand them to the cash register. No, she's like, hold on, I have sixty-three cents. Son of a bitch! <laughs> You can't just take the whatever the hell that is. Where the hell is my calculator? This bear with me, people, because this this has a point. So I said thirty-seven sixty-three, right? Uh, I think so. I said thirty, yeah, something like that. You two dollars and thirty-seven cents. You couldn't just take that and walk away. No. No. You, you had to take the... Th the <laughs> wow, that pisses you off just... <laughs> uh, maybe I should start drinking more because I need to calm down. Well, I've got a true story about a bank teller here. True story! Yeah. Here's a true story. Well, I went to the bank to cash my paycheck, and this is like three weeks in a row. I get the same lady at the counter. Well, the first time, she says, uh, do you know your account number? And I said something like, well, I've been banking here for 20 years. Your computer should have it. Of course. Well, then, she pulled it up, processed all the stuff and everything, and I don't know, she probably thought I came off as a smart-ass dick when I said it, but that is just me. Well, yeah. Well, the next week I came over, cast my check, like usual, same woman. Mm-hmm. She asked me the same damn thing. To be a bitch! I don't know if she remembered me or what, but it's like, really? It's, it's in the computer! You got you did this before, and then like the third time, same fucking thing. It's like look, you're, mm, look it up. You are a very distinctive looking person, dog. I'm pretty sure she would have remembered you. She probably would have. <laughs> so the fourth week, I saw she was available, and I, I waited till the next teller was available. It's like fuck this. Oh yeah. You ain't but, that I mean, that's again. that's my true story that I had when it comes to, like, well, this would have been the teller's fault, not the customer in front of me's fault. Right. Because from time to time, you're in a long line, and you want to get your shit cashed and get out of there, and it's mm -hmm. like, ain't got nobody got time for that! No! Nobody. So, any more rants? If I have another rant, I'm probably going to die. So, no, I'm, I'm good. But, ladies and gentlemen... This is what we do. It's society. It is. You got... And it's up to you to fix it. You don't have to go along with everything right here. Stop watching Duck Dynasty. For God's sake, stop watching it. Oh, I got one last rant before stop, we go. Stop, yes! I'm sure you all have been involved in like a road rage situation or some mm -hmm. shit. What bugs me more than slow old people in front of me in their Buicks mm -hmm. or the tailgaters when I'm doing over the speed limit. No doubt. What the fuck is the point? Do you think tailgating other people will make me go faster? Uh-uh. I'll go slower. Oh, yeah. Brake check them. No, I won't go as far as brake check them, oh, but I'll, I'll go under the speed limit. I'll, I'll just grandpa it, you know? Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I saw a Mustang 
down the road here, as I was on my way over here to the studio, he was still getting the Chevy S10 behind me. And as the person in front of me went to make a left turn, the Mustang kind of like ran in the grass like he was going to rear in the, the, the S10. I, oh, thought, no. I, thought, I thought the S10 was going to get in the ass, you know? Oh, yeah. And not in a good way. No. Not in a good way. But it's like, what's your hurry, people? Do you have to take a shit that bad that you have to tailgate people just to think they'll go faster in front of you? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Uh. If you don't want to be late, leave the house early. Yeah, leave about 20 minutes earlier, you know? Yeah. Why not? But this is this is what we go through. This is life, people. Yeah. So not ours, but everybody's. You all have these th these rants. So make your voices known. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this very first edition of the things that piss us off here on ninety six on the whip. It's not going to be a weekly thing because I'll probably be dead by then. Yeah, we're going to maybe make it a monthly thing or something like that. Oh, and I got plenty more. Don't you worry. I have. Plenty more where that came from. But yeah, we're just trying some new shit out here. No doubt. We're, we're like I said, we're expanding our our thing. We don't just want to be the lushes that does Expanding beer. your thing? Expanding our things. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But yeah. I'm sure a lot of people out there get pissed off at people like me, though. We don't just want to be the guys that drink beer and... And get frogs drunk. Stupid. Yeah. I don't know, I think he's taking a shit. Squishy frog, he probably, he's constipated. He needs x lax <laughs> I, I wish I had a, a magazine or something like that for you to read. Well, here. You know what? Do you have a Playboy? No, no. I, here you go. There you go, Squishy Father. What if? What if Jesus exists? There you go. You can go to the I don't know. He's been through a lot of breweries. There might not be any saving him. He's a lost cause, but he's our lost cause. He's our piece of shit. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this first edition of The Things That Piss Us Off. It pisses off, and I'm I'm serious. Just stop watching TV altogether. It, it's don't even. Just stop. Honey Boo Boo got renewed for a second season. People, that is a sign of the end times. I kind of quit giving a shit about TV about ten years ago. Honey Boo Boo got renewed for a second season. Elmo got fired for. Supposedly molesting a child. What? what a, and Kanye West and Kim Kardashian named their child Northwest. What the hell? We need one more people, and the horsemen shall be riding down the street. It will be the end of days. All right, I think we're done. He's going to have a heart attack if we continue on here. So, yeah, that was the first edition of The Things That Piss Us Off, and we will see you later. Peace out.